The accusation was a DUI. They accused me of drinking under the influence. No, driving under the influence. So you see the judge in the robe. Does the judge say anything? Does he have any sort of reaction to it? She said, you look comfortable. And um, I was. And the, the charges was dismissed. You think the robe had anything to do with the final outcome there? Be comfortable all the time. Okay. Well, uh, the FBI situation, what happened, what happened there? So I was at, uh, as you know, I ran a Henny House, Henny House ATL. And um, I met with some gentlemen that are YouTubers and streamers. A uh, gentleman's name is actually Ice Poseidon, whom at the time I didn't know was under investigation for uh, child pornography and different things of that nature. Uh, it seemed like a pretty nice guy to me, but I'm not a child. Maybe I wasn't one of his targets. Um, they approached me about helping them collaborate on a house in Los Angeles, and it was going to go by the name of the Scuffed House. When I did this, um, I flew out to LA. I left my house because they had. He came to my house first. He said, "I like this. I like how you got this business running," and so I came out to LA to help design their space for them. I have an eye for design. I love design. It's like one of my my passions, and um, had a great time. They, very nice house. I think it was like an eight million dollar mansion. Had an elevator, all that cool shit. But um, he just ain't have his business together, man. And he has really uh, shady people around him. So I remember I was laid up. Uh, with my girlfriend, had my dick in a booty hole about 4 a.m. And uh, the door got kicked in. And, you know, the noise was familiar. And everybody started, the house was so big, it was 14 people in the house and you wouldn't even know because it had 14 rooms. So they kicked the door in, it was about four in the morning. And, you know, I was like this, I'm calm, collected. The noise was familiar. So I kind of already knew what was going on when I saw flashlights kind of beaming through the house. And uh, I told my girl, I said, you know, just just throw on a robe and uh, just just stay calm and shit. And uh, we came out the door, uh, had our hands up and they had M16s and all of that, all kind of different rifles and whatnot aimed at everybody. And ultimately, man, once they got the house cleared out, and uh, they, they started searching it for all the electronics and whatnot. They weren't after me. I was there, but they weren't after me. You know, I was talking to some of the FBI and was, you know, kind of just having general conversation with them. I remember I asked, I said, uh, is, is every day like this? Like, is, is y'all day this action packed? He said, well, actually, no, we've, we've been planning this for a few months. I said, well, Glad to be here. And um, yeah, they, you know, they watch my videos and whatnot. And that's when they told me about my warrants and uh, on the other side of the country. And, you know, it was all small shit. So they were really just kind of informing me. They, they knew they were several years old. And I had, I had told them, the gentleman, that I would take care of it when I got back. So what did they want from you? What was all this they for? They seized everybody's phones. They. I had two phones. I think I had like two or three laptops in my bag. They went through, they took the TVs off the walls, every electronic you can think of. And, you know, the, the search took five hours because the house was so big. So we were sitting outside waiting on them to finish searching the house for five hours. They searched the pool, you know what I mean? So um, searching the inside of the elevators, searching all the little maintenance closets and stuff they got in the, in the cut. And uh, ultimately, you know, they ended up giving me my stuff back. And uh, my girlfriend, she got her shit back. Everybody got their shit back that wasn't really like a part of it. But, you know, they had questions for him. And they, they weren't really my business. Cause like I said, I was out there on a business venture. I didn't know anything about his past or what he was under investigation for. You know, when it was going on, I'm getting all kind of DMs from his fans like, did you know that you're with a child predator and all this, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, no, I thought I was with a YouTuber. But, um, you know, the each his own, everybody got their own thing. Anything can happen.
So how long were you at without these electronics for, like your phone especially? How long do they take this for? Oh, they just kept it for the few hours they did the search. Oh, w what did they do? They like kept his for months. You know, he didn't have his phone and his, his computer for months. No, no, no. But what, what did they do? They like back up all the stuff that's on your phone so they could use that I for information? I think they do. They got like a truck or something. I think they do. I think they copied all the nudes off my phone and put them on a little disk drive. Lucky motherfuckers. So how long were they there for in total? Probably about seven or eight hours. They were very nice though. You know, they were. The, the M16s and shit ain't scared me. I didn't seen the barrel of a gun so many times, but you know, aside from the, the army vests and all that extra shit, they were very nice and hospitable. They detain you guys? They put you in Yeah, we were of... detained for several hours, but you know, being a black man in, in this, this country, I've been victim of you know, uh, cricket, law enforcement on a few occasions. So this particular occasion, you know, I felt they like they treated me with some type of respect. And uh, I haven't had that same experience like in Georgia, for example. Do you know the races or the ethnicities of the uh, agents? Oh, they were, it was 20 of them. It was more of them than it was of us. Yeah, it wasn't like it was just a few of them. It was 30 of them. I say 20 because it was 20 of those jurisdictions. But altogether, I think all of the jurisdictions combined, the sheriff, Secret Service, all of that, it would have been 30, 40 of them, honestly. All uh, white? No, it was mixed races. But okay. um, again, this is California. Uh, California is a very diverse place and one of the greatest parts of this country. So.